a what I ate today video. It has been since August since I filmed one of these, so I figured what better time to do a what I ate than during the holiday season when it could be a little hectic to eat healthy because we're all really busy getting ready for the holiday. And of course, there's the temptation of sugar cookies in the office and the cocktail parties at night. So a big thing that changed since my last what I ate is that Inspiralize got its own headquarters. I'm actually sitting in my office right now. This is my desk behind me. I'm just sitting here catching up on some emails, having some coffee, and getting ready to conquer my day. One of my favorite things about having an office is I finally have a blogger mirror, and I'm calling it a blogger mirror because it's just a nice big mirror where I can take outfit selfies every day. Although today is gonna to be a heavy blog cooking day. I have a lot of recipes to make to prepare for the little break we're having over the holidays. So I'm literally, I'm wearing my oversized Adidas t-shirt and some tights from Athleta and my new favorite Under Armour Kicks, which I'm gonna to link to in this video because if you're looking for cool sneakers that are comfy and stylish, these are the ones. They're by Under Armour, which is kind of random because Under Armour's never had that cool sneakers in my humble opinion. All right, well I'm gonna finish up my emails, finish up my coffee, and I'll catch you at breakfast. Bye. Catch you at breakfast. Bye. All right, I'm in my kitchen and I am ready for breakfast. So I have some zucchini noodles from Spiralizing yesterday that I have in a Ziploc bag. And I have some avocado that's going bad and a couple eggs. So I'm just gonna whip up a little veggie frittata scrambly thing for breakfast with avocado. All right, I'm heating up my skillet over you know medium high heat. And once that's heated, I'm gonna spray it with a little pan. This is the one I use, the organic extra virgin olive oil. It's pretty much heated up. And then I have these leftover zucchini noodles, and I'm just gonna add that in. Now, I love this skillet. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you know that I always use this when I'm cooking. It's a 12-inch skillet that comes with a cover, and I honestly use it for all of my cooking. Nothing sticks to this. So especially when you're making something with eggs, if you're scrambling or whatever, it's the best. So I'm just gonna cook these until they wilt a little bit more. I still want them crunchy. Right, so this is a very wide skillet, obviously, so my eggs are probably not gonna cover all the noodles, but that's okay. Yeah. So now that I have those in, I'm just gonna turn the pan and let the eggs sort of cover a bit more of the zucchini. Okay. It's gonna be a really nice flat omelet type situation, open-faced omelet. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna let that set. All right, so I basically flipped in four different pieces. This one broke up, whatever, I'm eating it. No one's judging how pretty it looks. It smells delicious. It's got some veggies in here, and now I'm basically gonna plate this and top with avocado. All right, so I'm just gonna basically pour out my omelet. I mean, this skillet is so amazing. The fact that nothing ever sticks to it, it's incredible. So now I have my avocado that's about to go bad. I'm just gonna use a half of avocado. I'm gonna actually save the rest for my lunch today, I think. We'll see. So then I'm just gonna scoop out that half and top it here in the middle. Again, it's not super pretty. I'm just gonna season with some pepper. And that's it. And I actually just found salsa in the refrigerator. I forgot that I ordered this the other day. It's still fresh because I didn't open it, so I'm just gonna add some salsa on top. And that is it. That's my breakfast. Time to eat. Hi, checking back in. It's about lunchtime. I've had a pretty productive morning. I've already cooked a recipe for the blog. I got two more to do today and a lot of writing and admin-y kind of stuff. Today I'm going back to basics and I'm making my favorite veggie sandwich. And I love this sandwich because all the ingredients are really basic. It's just a bunch of basically slicing and then jam packing into a sandwich. And it's full of just really good tasting ingredients, ingredients that are really healthy for you. It always keeps me fueled for the rest of the day. And then I usually have a snack around like three or four o'clock and then a pre-workout snack, but anyway. I'm gonna build this sandwich. If you have not tried my veggie sandwich, I really recommend it. So all of the ingredients I buy on a Sunday and then I put them all in Tupperware or Ziploc bags or whatever. And then when I go to make the sandwich, all of the ingredients are there. I just grab them out of the fridge and that's pretty much just slicing them and topping them on slices of bread. So speaking of bread, I'm gonna show you the one I use. All right, so 
I use this bread. It is Ezekiel Low Sodium Bread Sprouted Green. It, it's my favorite bread. You just pop it into the toaster and it gets really crispy. It's really grainy, like it just has such great texture. I love it. So basically, I have all my ingredients out right here. I'm just gonna build the sammy with you. So I take one piece of bread and I lay it in the center of my plate. And I usually start with hummus or avocado, whatever side of the sandwich I'm doing first. So I'll just put in about two tablespoons of hummus. And if you're asking, wow, she's not eating a lot of protein, there's actually protein in this bread, in the hummus, and in the spinach that I'm gonna put on here. So it ends up adding up to a pretty substantial amount of protein. I'm gonna take my spinach, and, and the one I use is this Olivia's Organics Baby Spinach. I like baby spinach because it's easier to pack into a sandwich, I think. And I do a lot of spinach. A lot, a lot. Okay, and then to keep that down, I'll just press the tomato on top. And then I'm gonna set that aside, grab my other slice of bread, and this is where I'm gonna add the avocado. So this is the avocado leftover from this morning. I just like to use everything up as possible. So I'm gonna add that there. And then I use a knife again, just to spread it out. And lately I've been doing a little bit of freshly ground pepper on top. It gives it a nice little extra flavor. And then on top of this, I'm going to do cucumbers. I do four slices. And then I'm gonna put in my sliced onion. Then lots of carrots, which I used a julienne peeler on. I actually have it right here. This is the julienne peeler, and I can leave a link to this one in the description of this video, because I know you guys always like to know where I get my kitchen tools. Pretty much built. The last thing that we need to do is add the sprouts. I'm gonna grab I don't know, like a really plentiful pinch, I guess. And I put that on top. We're ready to just build the sandwich, put it together. And this can be a little tricky, and the most frustrating thing is if it falls apart. So actually what I do first is I add in a little bit of mustard on top. I'm like a mustard freak. I like mustard on every sandwich. I love dipping my sandwiches in mustard. Okay, so I just add that in there. And then since this side, look, ooh, since this side looks a little easier to flip, I'm gonna flip it. So grab it, put it on top, and then I kind of just push down. It compresses it a little bit. And then I will take over here a serrated, a serrated bread knife, a serrated knife, and just slice that in half. Okay. And put it on my plate, and that's it. And usually I actually use a toothpick, but I don't have toothpicks in my office. But I'm gonna flip this around for you so you can see the inside. Yes, there you go, ah. Loaded with veggies, super filling, the best veggie sandwich you'll ever have. Go make it, and I'm gonna eat this in the meantime. All right guys, we're getting to see the behind the scenes. I just cooked another recipe for the blog. This is a zucchini noodle fritter, which I've been meaning to do for probably a year and a half. I just had a fritter uh, and some greens as a little snack. I figured I would record this in my what I ate because I did just eat that, um, but I want to show you behind the scenes of me photographing the recipe and I can't wait to put it on the vlog. Right, so this is the area that I take my photos. It's kind of a mess right now because I'm obviously taking a photo, but if you look behind here, here is my setup. And these are the fritters. I made eight. And see the zucchini noodles in the fritters and I just served it with like an easy arugula salad, and that is it. So what I do is I get up on my stairs here, and I take a photo, and then I put it on the blog. <laughs> a lot more goes into it than that, but that's it. All right, so I'm on my final recipe of the day, and if you can't notice by the lighting in here, it's getting really dark, so I'm hoping that the photos come out well. That's kind of the stinky part about this time of year. It gets darker earlier. It's also just like really grim outside. It's just the product of living in New Jersey this time of year. Um, but I'm cooking sweet potato noodles, and I'm making something very delicious for the holidays, and I'm just gonna be drinking this kombucha, the gingerberry flavor, GTs. So I'm just sipping on this, cooking my sweet potato noodles and finishing out the rest of the day. See you soon. Hey guys, 
guys, it's about 4.30 and I'm just having a little snack, a little apple, and I'm gonna end a little bit early today because I need to get to the gym, so I'll probably end around like 5, 5.15, work out, and I'm gonna be making something from my Inspiralize Everything cookbook tonight. So I will see you in a little bit, bye. <music> So unfortunately, I had some major technical difficulties with my camera, so I cooked this whole recipe from Inspiralize Everything, and then Lou and I sat down and ate it. Um, he, in this moment, is telling me that it tastes just like spaghetti and meatballs. It's my vegetarian meatballs with celery -ac spaghetti from the cookbook. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.